everyone now i am going to discuss about laplace transform the definition of laplace transform is l of ft equals to 0 to infinity e power minus st ft dt okay now let us take this ft as 1 ft as t ft as e power 80 ft as sin 80 okay a different type of functions we have taken number one is a constant function and this one is algebraic functions and this one is exponential function and this one is trigonometric function so one by one we will check that what is the uh, Laplace transform for 1, Laplace transform for t, Laplace transform for e power 80, Laplace transform for psi 80. First let us take ft as 1. Okay, so let us put here 1 and here one. Now this is simply integration e power minus st dt. So that is e power minus st by minus s 0 to infinity. Now let us put the limits e power minus infinity by minus s minus minus plus e power 0 by s. Okay? Now this is 1 by minus s e power infinity and this is e power 0 is 1 and uh, this is s. Okay? And now look, uh, this 1 by e power infinity, e power infinity we know as infinity. So 1 by e power infinity is actually 1 by infinity. For admission and course related enquiry please visit college website http colon slash slash www.svist.org slash As we know integration UVDX integration of product of two functions where U and V are functions of X only and uh, this is called the vipers U as first function and V as the second function U integration VDX minus integration DDX of U integration VDX all over DX ok and look here here is T and e power minus ST so let us take T as U and e power minus ST as V why? Because we know L I A T E where L is logarithm, E is inverse, A is algebra, T is trigonometry, E is exponential. So here U is the algebra and V is the exponential. So T is the first function and E power minus ST is the second function. Now let's do the integration by diverse. 
value and for second term we will get 1 by s square and 1 minus sign will be there that minus and this minus will be plus so 1 by s square therefore Laplace transform of t is 1 by s square now we will find for uh, f t as e power a t the exponential function so let us put here e power a t here e power a t For admission and course related enquiry please visit college website http colon slash slash www.svist.org slash This can be written as 0 to infinity e power minus s minus a t dt Now the integration of this this s minus a is constant term so 1 by minus s minus a and e power minus s minus a t 0 to infinity. Now look here, if we put infinity then this first term will be 0 and if we put 0 then that will be 1 and that will be minus 1, that minus and this minus will be plus so 1 by s minus a. So here we have found Laplace transform of a constant term, Laplace transform of algebraic term and Laplace transform of exponential term. In the next class, we will find Laplace transform of trigonometric function uh, like sin t or cos t. Now let us recapitulate what we have learned today. Watch and subscribe YouTube channel Kabita Sarkar. Laplace transform of 1, that is 1 by s. Laplace transform of t, that is 1 by s square. And Laplace transform of e power a t, that is 1 by s minus a. So here you look, 1 is the constant term, t is the algebraic function. And e power a t is the exponential function. So for three types of functions we have found the Laplace transform of them. Now in the next class we will find Laplace transform of trigonometric functions like sin a t, Laplace transform of cos a t. We will find these two in the next class.